sa seminary na Let's welcome Reverend Dr. Linda Damiano. Wapakanan sa Lord. Praise God. Thank you, people, bro. Kalau di ibu mau mengintipkan saya ibu mau mesa sama sebuah Well Hindi magit Hindi magit tayo yung batang mga Fritz Kaya magawali kay Time of vacation, right? So I don't know kung ako na ang term na kapag nag-application ka, you're in trouble to preach. Pero you know, most of the time, silito, silisama na may grupo. So, Pastor, are you resting or what? I said, yep, I am resting. <laughs> Pero sometimes, kung nag-preach ka, it is so hard to, uh, to sit down and listen. It's a very bad. You know? So, mayroon na sa duha. Duhan na muka ko sa akin kay sa nagpakurya ko, impilit mo man ako ng preach. So, Bob, impilit mo man ang diyakon. Kung ano din na, pag-abot mo sa amin ka, mapipilitan ka rin. Anyhow, now, it's always an honor to talk about God and to preach the Word of God sa 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 house of God or sa family of God. Okay, I believe there is nothing bigger in our life than God Himself. Kung busy kita sa anumang na bagay sa atong kabuhi and we let God, you know, slide in our life, we miss the greatest and the most important thing in our life. So, by the way, kapit pa ay kumini po yan. You know? Sa Washington State, yan. So, pagbalik mo doon, magkita tayo. Punta ka sa aking magkakraming tayo. Alright. Alright, so, hindi ko tugayo na nga doon niya, minsahe because kung great preacher ka na, dapat may isi ka na mag-preach. So I want to prove to you that I'm a great preacher. No, no. Preachers have nothing to prove. They have nothing to prove. They have nothing to impress. Because God is the most important thing in our life. Preacher needs to deliver the word. Okay? So, If you hear the words tonight, that's not my words. Yeah, God chose the words for me. You know, it's so amazing how the word works in our lives. Sometimes amazingly enough that we don't even know how to describe it. You know? You do not know where to start and where to end here. Because it's just so amazing. You know, it's indescribable. Ang bago sa pag-preach ako, twice sa mga mundo na sa school, and then, hindi ka rin makatanggi. So, dalawa lang kayo, ang hindi ko makanyang do, you have to remember that, okay? The rest, I decline, okay? The rest, I decline. So, anyhow, silip ko sa ila, if I describe to you my life, I don't know how, because if I'm standing to you today, it's a miracle that that I can do this for the Lord, you know. I grew up here, sa sa Mindanao, so you know, kung ginang po yan, sigurado, pwede pa kung yan ang bali sa Mindanao. Are you gonna understand the Lord, Lord? You can, huh? So, pwede kita kung ilang Lord, eh? Ha? Ayun. So, so, anyhow, anyhow, sinin ko sa ila, kung gusto nyo mabalang kung paano magbukin mo sa Mindanao, you gotta listen to me. Because my, my God had twisted my tongue several times. Alright? Kabalawa ko po siguro kung paano kita mag-grow sa Mita now, kung paano kita mag-grow. Mag-ilunggo, at pag-abot sa ibang mga lugar, ang ating mga Tagalog, ginagalawa sa mga Tagalog. You know? Pag-abot ko sa ilo-ilo, sa minsan mga ilunggo, hindi kayo po ay nagalit. Nga nangin mga ilunggo, mali. Pag-abot ko sa mga sa Luzon, sa Pampasano ni, sa sa Baguio, sabi ko lang natin kanyang yung Tagalog nyo. Sabi ko, I don't know. Tapos, pag-abot ko sa Pampanga, ginagadlawan ng ihapon ako. Pag-abot ko sa Amerika, 
Philippines na alam mo, bakit napakatigas ng English ninyo? <laughs> well, you know, kung ba lang kung paano ka ginamot sa ginoo at you submit to Him, it doesn't make any difference kung ano ang ang mood sa tanong. You know? Sining ko sa aming kapasta dito sa US sa sabi sa kanilang kapasta sa ito. Maybe I just don't need to preach because people from uh, American stop and say that they cannot understand my English. And then my senior pastor said, don't you worry, you don't even understand his other. <laughs> so I gained confidence kasi linya, people from the South, we don't understand, we don't understand them. The English is so different. So don't you worry, just keep talking. Alright. So but anyhow, I will quit talking because I need to talk now about the Word of God. I think that's the most important thing. Sa Pilipinas, kung pamangkutol ka, pamangkutol mong isang katao or yung Christian, 90% singalang ka niya, yes I am. I am a Christian. Kung paano ka niya i-define na niya pag Christiano, kung kaysa, hindi man natin man ma-question. Because after all, who really knows who are the real believers? No one knows, no one can fathom the hearts and the faith of individual Christians. But you know that the Bible has concrete descriptions of people who really have gone through a spiritual transformation. My description and Bible, kung paano gayon natin, siguro may iba way na natin tumuli kung tutuwagin ko na ang Christian kita. Kung tutuwagin ba natin ang Diyos para sa ato tumuli, o kung tutuwagin ba natin ang Diyos ang foundation sa natin tumuli. So tonight, I will bring you a message from a very simple passage. Siguro, passage kayo hindi nyo kailangan explain because it's too simple. In Philippians chapter 4, verse 4 to 7, Paul described a life of a Christian. Na siguro pwede mo si ganun nga if you are really a child of God and then you know that you can define your Christianity or your faith or your foundation through the kind of life you have. Let's look at that passage and uh, go with me as we read the word of the Lord. And now, hopefully, you stand with me, please, as we honor the reading of the word of the Lord. Philippians chapter 4, verse 4 to 7. When Paul said in his writings to the Philippians, Rejoice! In the Lord always, again I will say rejoice. Let your reasonableness be known to everyone. The Lord is at hand. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and by supplication, with thanksgiving, let your request be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Father, you're an amazing God. And you are the greatest God that loved us so much. Who planned the best for our life. Not only to save us and bring us to heaven, but to experience your greatness your power, your authority, your graces, your mercies, while we are here, say the earth. Lord, bless these wonderful people that you call to serve you today. Bless them with your words. Inspire them, O God, as so that as they go home tonight, they will be filled with joy and they will be filled with gladness and celebration in their hearts. So that whatever will happen, they will trust you and follow you. Thank you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Alright. So, paano natin kabalaan niya ang ating kabuhin araw sa kinuro? 
structured and founded, some very foundation of 